Hi, I'm Khalil Abdella. I'm the Director of Translational Neuro-Oncology at the University of Pittsburgh. And as a neurosurgeon, I often meet patients and their families at a very difficult time in their life. That is when they're diagnosed with a brain tumor and told they need to have brain tumor surgery. That's a scary time and it's important to have options and a team that's very experienced taking care of you. And when we think about brain tumor surgery, we usually think about the craniotomy, which is the most common type of surgery where an incision is made, the bone flap is removed temporarily and the tumor is taken out. But some patients may benefit from other types of surgery. That includes stereotactic radiosurgery, where a very focused beam of radiation is used to treat the tumor, or minimally invasive surgery using an endoscope, or in some cases, a laser probe, where a small incision is made and a laser is inserted into the brain and the tumor is burned from the inside out. Sometimes one or more than one of these approaches is the best thing for a patient. And it's important to consider all of them in the process of treating someone because there is no such thing as two patients who are exactly the same or two tumors that are exactly the same. And in addition to that, one of the things that's special about the University of Pittsburgh Department of Neurosurgery and the Helmut Cancer Center is that our research is very close to the work that we do taking care of patients. And that means that we are able to identify drug targets or develop drugs that can be effective in brain tumors and bring them back to the clinic in the form of early phase clinical trials in a very efficient way. My laboratory investigates drug targets, meaning things within the tumor that we can try and develop drugs for that will stop or slow the progression of that tumor. All of those things, in addition to our excellent medical and radiation oncology teams, allow us to provide really personalized and excellent care for our patients and their families. Thanks for listening and watching, and if we can be of any help, please don't hesitate to reach out.